Hey guys, I am Seth with Ugreen, and today we are going to unbox the Ugreen Nexode 200 watt desktop charger. We have this nice stylish box with an outline of the charger on the front and on the back are the technical specifications for the charger, but you're here to see what is inside the box, so let's get to it. Slide the top off. And we'll put this off to the side. Pull out the inside bits. And we have in here a 6.6 .6 foot AC cable. We have one side right here, plugs into the charger. And the other side over here plugs into the wall. We also have a 3.3 foot USB-C to USB-C 100 watt cable. Uh, so both ends are USB-C and it supports charging up to 100 watts. And then of course we have the necessary instruction manual and information booklets for the product. And the most interesting piece is the charger itself. So this charger is a desktop charger, not a wall charger. That means that instead of plugging directly into the wall, uh, it has a cable that plugs into the wall. So this side right here plugs into the back of the charger, and then the other side plugs into the wall. And then the front has six ports. There are four USB-C ports along the front, and then at the end there are two USB-A ports. Now this is a 200 watt charger. What that means is that the total power output of the charger is 200 watts. Not that each port can give 200 watts. So the max output of each port is as follows. The first two ports, USB-C 1 and USB-C 2, both have a max output of 100 watts. That means you can use both ports together and get a full 100 watts out of each. That is enough to fast charge two 14 inch MacBook Pros um, or regular speed charge to 16 inch MacBook Pros. And the next two ports, USB C3 and USB C4, both have a max output of, I believe, 65 watts. And then the two USB A ports have a max output of 22 and a half watts each. Then, if you have more devices plugged in, three, four, five, six, the charger will intelligently redistribute the power to each device. It will detect the device that is plugged in and it will give it the amount of power that it needs. So, for example, if you have a 14 inch MacBook Pro plugged into USB C port one, it will give it pretty close to the full 100 watts because that can take it. But if you just have an iPhone plugged in, it will detect the iPhone and it will only give it the 18 or 20 watts that the iPhone can take. It won't give the device the entire 100 watts if it can't take it. So you don't have to worry about your devices. They will be safe. And don't forget, you get a USB-C cable with it as well. So you can start charging everything or something right out of the box. This is super great for your desk. It's not a super great travel charger because you need to bring the cable with you, but it is an incredible desktop organization charger. You've got your computer, your tablet, your phone, whatever else you have on your desk. And then all you need to do is plug in this one charger, keep it tucked off to the side, and you're gonna be able to plug in all of your devices to keep them charged. That's it for the Nexo 200 watt desktop charger. I'll see you next time.